Hey, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Afternoon, night, wherever you at. So real quick, guys. I just wanted to expound on the post I made um, about, uh, if you go back on my timeline, you'll see my post. And it's a, it's a post with a red circle around it. But uh, first and foremost, let me just say this, folks. I am a 50-year-old black woman. I'm a businesswoman. I'm a mother. I'm a sister. I'm a daughter. I'm a friend. I am whatever you want me to be. That's who I am. So um, I have a thought process. And my thought process does not just revolve around my business. My thought process does not just revolve around my children. My thought process revolves around plenty of life's issues. Therefore, I speak on many of life's issues. And I may not all, always do it on this platform, but considering everything that's going on as far as the protests and the Black Lives Matter um, movement, which has been going on for quite some years, and um, other events that are happening, um, some things I am very leery about, and I have always been a leery person, an analytical person. If I find something or, or learn something or research something, I'm going to pretty much analyze it down to the T. And usually I'm right about it. Go figure. So anyhow, um, I had some folks asking me why I was so, um, feeling the way, why I was, why, why I was feeling the way I was feeling about share the mic now movement. And for me, um, I'm not understanding the reason behind share the mic now. I, I really don't know who it's helping. Is it helping protesters? Is it helping black people? Um, I'm, I'm not really sure. The only thing I, I know for sure is that it is uh, one group of people allowing another group of people to get onto their platforms and, and um, give them glory. That's what I saw. I only saw one or two, and the one or two I, I saw was the black woman um, explaining how much she admired this other woman and how much she looked up to this other woman and all this stuff. And the other woman certainly isn't black, so I'm wondering why the props was for the white woman who allowed the black woman to share her mic. And um, my thoughts behind everything is, is what is this exactly? Since when did black women need other people to give them a stage for a platform? Black people have never sat around and waited for someone to give them something. Black people went out and did what they had to do to get it done. Civil rights movement, women's movement, voting rights movement, um, all of that. Black people got off their asses and, and got in the streets and got it done. We didn't depend on anyone. We, we helped uh, move, 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 move the needle, not just for our culture and for our people, but when we get up and move in the streets and do stuff, we do it for all the people. We're not just one-sided thinking about us. We, when we move, we do it for everybody. So, I'm just saying that to say, why do black women need to share the mic with other folk? And when I asked the question, I asked of someone, what's the point behind it? I'm not understanding. Then, um, Another lady and I went back and forth speaking about, well, what's the point? And she was like, she's the one who was allowing the black woman to share her mic. She was like, well, what else do you suggest to break down racism or get rid of racism? First of all, don't ask me nothing. Second of all, you allowing black women to get on your platform and give you exposure is not breaking down racial barriers, sis. It's not. If that's what you think uh, you're doing, you're not. But fast forward, 
And then she writes a post to her followers or her people that if they want to be a part, if they want to work with black people, if they want black business, they need to show their support. They need to be an ally. They need to post stuff on Instagram to show that they are an ally if they want to do business with the black community, with the community that has a trillion dollar spending power. That's who they want to do business with. Bingo. There's always a motive. Yeah, I went around it, but there's always a motive. So I'm just saying, you know, don't let other folks come in and, and steal this moment, guys. That's all.